Hey guys, so uh, today we're going to work on this pump on my truck. For those of you who follow me on Facebook, you know I got this pump in the mail just the other day. So it's not really a pump, it's a fuel filter heater primer pump. Uh, the heater's inside it and it runs off this little cable here. But anyways, we're going to, one of my trucks acting up, so we're going to replace it with this one. And then we're going to go from there and hope that it this part fixes it, truthfully. But one of the things I, was, I saw on some of the videos I watched online on, U, on, the, on YouTube was put your finger over the inlet on it and then pump it up. It builds that pressure on your finger. And then when it makes that noise, it's supposed to be pretty good. And we're going to check mine, when, the one that's on the truck, when we get it off and everything and see, basically see what, what it sounds like. I figure it's going to be pretty close, just maybe not as strong. So, Alright, so come along, we'll uh, get started on this. Okay, everybody. So there's the old one, the one that's on the truck. We've got to take these two fuel lines off of it unbolt it from the body disconnect some cables down in there and then uh, pull it out I thought about taking this tube off but I think I can get in there just fine without it without taking it off so uh, just two bolts back here on this back side and then I think they're like 12 millimeter or something like that and then we'll take it out of there like I said unhook these fuel lines from here on both sides and pull it out of there just stay with us. We'll get it done. You guys ain't able to see much of what I'm doing here, but I figure we'll get you a video of it, of it as I'm doing this. There's that one. There's that one. As much fuel that actually came out of that fuel, out of the inlet, which this is the inlet right here, uh, as much fuel came out of it, leaves me to real think that there was more wrong than what there probably was. Should have been a lot more fuel than that come out of it. And these are 12 millimeter bolts. Boy, that's hard to get in there. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to see anything. Thank you. 
There wasn't much. There ain't even much fuel in that. Alrighty. Get back here to the back. Yeah, there should be a lot more fuel coming out of it than that. That tells me that that fuel filter is empty. Like uh, like we showed you on the other one, we're gonna put our finger over the inlet here. That had a weird noise. Yeah, that shouldn't be doing that. That's where it's at, right there. It's in that primer. know what the issue is hopefully this will fix it and I said I think the o-rings inside that primer button there is what's wrong so we'll uh, fix that on another video but for right now we'll just get the new one installed and then uh, get it all primed up I'm gonna figure out how to put all this in back in here because this is different a little bit but it's the right one for this truck, so oh, that ain't gonna work. Why? So what's going on here is we've got to reroute the fuel line. Somebody has redone all this stuff before, put different fuel lines on it, re-ran them a different direction, because it's not the original uh, fuel filter, heater, primer setup. So we're having to redo it again. So we're having to re rearrange the fuel line the inlet or the the outlet fuel line that goes to from the filter to the injectors we're having to re redo it but uh, it's it's nothing major we just gotta take it loose and run it a different direction so we ain't kinking it so what, what we're doing here is it, my stepson's trying to get the fuel line loose and off because uh, he's a little taller than me and I can't reach down in there and get it <laughs> So we're taking it loose from the injector and then gonna run it run it across and under some things to the side here. A little more work than we anticipated, but it'll be right when it's done. Alright, we're gonna try this again now that we've got the fuel line re resituated. I think I'm about to cut it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut that down. That's an awfully long amount of fuel line there. Try to cut a few inches off of this. Turn it back about right here. If I don't cut myself in the process. I know I didn't cut myself. That's still kinked quite a bit. Oh, there it goes. There we go. Much better. So, tighten this back up on this.
All righty, that's tight enough. Now, I'll be honest, ratchet wrenches are awesome. <laughs> They fit in places that sockets won't. So, yeah, we're going to have to reroute this one too. Come here. This one actually needs to go under all this. So it's gonna go down here. That actually looks better. I need to do the same and I take a few inches off. Why I'm cutting these fuel lines and re redesigning them is because, like I said, this the fuel pump has been taken off before and they put new lines on, so they've rerouted the way they were they thought they were, wanted it. And realistically, they're supposed to go up underneath things and kind of the way I've got them already. So, Okay. All right, so now that we've got everything hooked up and uh, all the fuel lines attached and the cables, all the electrical cables are all plugged back in, now we got to prime the thing. Well, there's a right here. There's a black uh, plastic bleeder screw. Yes, it's plastic. So don't ever use a flathead to uh, open this up because you'll just strip it out. Use a 13 millimeter socket to open it. I've already loosened it so now we'll just back it off and this is the primer. 
it's a little hand pump so we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna pump it hear the air coming out of that Alright, so what we're going to do is snug that up, just by fingers, pump her up. Then we're going to crack it. Alright, so we've got plenty of fuel coming to the top now. Fuel filter's full. I'm going to give her a pump her till this thing doesn't pump no more. All right, we're good. Let me grab my hand. Now, I'm gonna take my socket here on that bleeder screw. And I'm just not very tight, just snug it up, you know, just enough so I ain't got to worry about it leaking. That'll do it. All right. I'll go put these tools up and then we got to put the air filter back in. And then ready. All right guys, so uh, we're going to try to fire it up. It may take it a little bit to fire up because there's air, there's air and no fuel between the filter and the injector. So we'll see what happens here. Plenty of oil pressure too. Man, she sounds a lot smoother. Idling nice and clean. Well, tomorrow morning will be the the true test when I take it to work. Come on. Eventually a new turbo. 
That's, that's one of the last things that gets done on yeah. turbo is expensive. Yeah. Funny is this this motor used to rock a little bit with that other filter in there. Now it don't. Alright guys, we're going to take it for a test drive and see how this works, so... We're going to want it up there, so we'll just have to deal with it on the video. Fire's up so much easier too now. Start raining once we got done. shut down like it was choking itself out. It was limited to what? Two grand? I couldn't couldn't get the RPMs up over two grand. Ran a six ran a maximum of six to three mile an hour when it would shut itself down. It was like it was trying to stall out but it wouldn't completely stall out. Yeah, we had to drive it all the way from Arkansas to Texas on that. That was a pain.
There is our prison. Never seen it. and just replacing that unit all together, I think helped it. We'll just have to, I'll just have to drive it and give you guys another update, you know, in a, in, in a week or so. I go back to work tomorrow, so I'll be driving it every day for four or five days. I'm not I'm not being gentle on it either right now. Normally you'd shut down like this, right? Ah, 
Uh, it's working. <laughs> That's all that matters is it's working. Before it was hard. It wouldn't didn't want to pick up speed unless you made it drop a gear or something. But now it's just giving itself some fuel and it's going. Now it's back into the driveway. Curb. The reason why I'm backing into the driveway is because the neighbor's kid or whoever he is is still parking right in front of the dang driveway on me. And no, it's not my stepson. I don't have a car yet. Nor a license. We're working on yeah. all that. But trust me, my stepson knows better than to park in the way like that. And not only that, he'd get his ass kicked by me and his mother if he did. Courtesy of others, most of the time. All right, so it did good on that trip. We'll just have to see what happens. All right, guys. So uh, truck did great. Uh, I think that was the issue. Uh, it just it runs so much better now than what it did before. The uh, I'm gonna take the old one and we'll do a rebuild video on it later on down the road when we have the extra money to do it but the uh, the truck runs great and I'll I'll update you here in another week on how it's doing because uh, I'll have plenty of time to drive it and make sure it runs right the uh, thing that we're gonna that it's gonna be is that it's I gotta try and see if it'll do the shutdown deal that it did before it's uh been a hot one today. We uh, truck ran good after we got it fixed. Uh, pretty easy, pretty simple. The biggest thing is, is don't be scared to dive in there, guys. Uh, there's st you can research this stuff on YouTube and Facebook or YouTube and Google and all that. Things aren't that aren't as hard as they seem. You just do a little research on it and go for it. Uh, that's basically what I did. <laughs> the, I already knew what was pretty much the issue on it, but I did a little research to figure out the you know exactly what it, what it was, what the issue was, what it could have been. Ordered the part that I thought it was, and sure enough, it was it for now. Now my drive to work's a little bit more than that, so we'll see. I'll, we'll see what happens, but uh, yeah. Uh, other than that, just stay tuned. I got got a video coming on the on the table for you. As you'll like it. Uh, just give me give me some time because I'm working on a decent video for you on it. And then uh, it, it the outcome's gonna be pretty cool. You guys will like it. So I'm gonna basically sign off for today. Uh, it's been fun. <laughs> you like what you saw and you want to see more of it, hit that like button. Uh, go ahead and subscribe and shoot me a comment, guys. You know, I, you got questions or just need to want to know info, know, want to know something about me or what I'm doing or, you know, anything. Just go for it. Um, I got more coming on the truck. I got other woodworking projects go that are uh, in the uh, in the plans, so we'll uh, we'll see you on the next one.